Hi, I'm Amy Coburn. I'm the University Architect and Director of Planning Design and Construction at the University of New Mexico. And I'm Aaron Zahm. I'm a Principal Landscape Architect with MRWM Landscape Architects in Albuquerque. We thought we'd tell you a little bit about what SEPTED is, which is Crime Prevention for Environmental Design. It's a way of designing the physical environment in a way that encourages positive human behavior. And it's a series of strategies and principles including some of the obvious ones like good visibility, access control, maintenance, activating a space with activity, encouraging more participation in your community and taking ownership over your space, having territory that you establish. This is the front of Johnson Center. And this was a, an addition onto a very complicated building. And for those of you who have been around would remember that this whole area was a piece of roadway, an asphalt roadway that left a very narrow sidewalk up against another roadway. First of all, we developed a building with a lot of windows that looked out onto the space. So at all times of the day and night, you felt like you're part of a community that's both in the exterior space and within the building. You can communicate with each other. That builds some sense of shared space and some surveillance on the public areas. The next thing we did was create continuity of landscape and ground plane here. So you feel like you've entered a kind of controlled environment. And another thing you'll notice is how well maintained it is. You don't see trash and litter, you don't see graffiti. What that says to people is this is a space that's cared for, that's occupied, that somebody owns and cares about. Here we are in Smith Plaza then there's many examples of good septed design in Smith Plaza. But I'm going to remind you first that before we started this project in 2016, it was a lot of concrete and a lot of skateboarders. There was a very tall staircase made of brick that was falling apart, and it was really difficult for anybody with any kind of mobility challenges to move through the area. So Aaron, tell us what is cool about our septed work? Well. A big part of that accessibility issue was um, that people had to move very quickly through this space and it was hot, there was no shade, it was just surrounded in pavement and so people moved through it as quickly as they possibly could, they never would stay around and linger. And one of the big principles of SEPTED is activating a space so that there's natural surveillance, there's activity there that puts ownership and eyes uh, on the space. The previous Smith Plaza was great for hosting large events, you could put a big tent and, and have a large gathering, but it didn't really accommodate people on a day-to-day -day basis, small groups that just wanted to do people watching or to meet a friend and or to study outside. And so what we tried to create with the new Smith Plaza were some of those spaces so that you would actually feel comfortable on a human scale to sort of sit aside, get some relief from the elements, and, and activate this space with people all the time. And in fact, it's been very successful in doing that. Even on the weekends, people from the community have really taken over this space and, and have a love for it. Another thing that activates spaces is artwork. You see several examples of both fine art and memorial art on the plaza. We've also created movable seating, which allows people to set up their own territory in which they feel that they have their highest level of comfort. That also increases the occupancy of the space. One of the things I want to point out here in front of physics, astronomy, and interdisciplinary science is how big a change this building made to Yale Mall. And that is, this used to be a reservoir site here. It was a completely opaque wall, and it was a defunct reservoir. And these trees were backed up against it, so this whole edge was very dark and shadowed, pretty much. It was not a space where you wanted to occupy. It didn't have lighting, and it didn't have eyes on the pathway. Courtyards are a really important part of New Mexico's architectural history, but they can be pretty tricky from a subted standpoint. Oftentimes they're enclosed all the way. They have very little uh, glazing windows and doors facing them. Um, you know, they're a nice, comfortable retreat, but it's also not the kind of place you want to find yourself uh, at night or trapped and not knowing how to get out. So this is really a great example of a courtyard that's successful 
because of all of the visibility that is into the space. You can see all the programming of the building itself that looks directly into this space. So there's a lot of eyes on it all the time. There are amenities like the fountain, really nice lighting, and this sense of ownership of the outdoor space even when you're indoors.